Good evening, lacrosse fans, and welcome to Chaparral Stadium. This is Westlake Lacrosse. We have a great Central District matchup today as the Westlake Chaparrals face off against the Vipers from Vandegrift. My name is Ken Fiji with Westlake Lacrosse. Today is our third live broadcast of the year. Joining me in the booth is Westlake sophomore Ava Howard. Welcome, Ava. Today's live streaming is presented by Vipe Media. Let's welcome in our producer for today's game, Adam Mueller. He'll also be running the camera today. So thank you, Adam. Uh, as a reminder, please DM me at Ken underscore Fiji 3 if you have a lacrosse question or comment. We will try to answer that question during the broadcast. So we have a few minutes until the national anthem. Let's uh, start talking about today's game. Westlake, coached by Zach Burke. Uh, Zach is in his fourth year uh, at the reins of Westlake Lacrosse. Uh, no major changes today for the starting lineups. Goalie, we have number 13, senior Hayden Kern. Uh, Hayden committed to D3 Middlebury. At uh, faceoff today, number 32, senior Houston Horton. Uh, number 6, senior Eric Baines is out for today, so uh, Horton will be taking the majority of the faceoffs. At midfield, number 17, junior Jarrett Passett. Number one, Misha Tupo. Uh, Tupo was U.S. Lacrosse Player of the Week last week. Had two big games against uh, ESD and Lake Travis. And also on midfield, number 11, junior Gage Frickenschmidt. At LSM, we have number 15, senior Carter Barksdale. Barksdale heading to Michigan. Uh, the boys had a uh, national signing day a couple of days ago. Welcome, fans, to the we'll pause for a second and the have the Ball. national anthem. This game is being conducted according to the rules and regulations of the Texas High School Lacrosse League. We ask that you consider the time and effort each of these teams, coaches, officials, and athletes have put forth. Regardless of the outcome of today's game, all the players have proven their willingness to work and sacrifice to achieve athletic excellence. Cheer these young athletes, applaud them, but do not, through any of your actions, cause them to doubt the value of athletics. By your conduct, Allow these young people to feel pride in their communities and school. While your sportsmanlike actions may play only a small part in the outcome of this game, it will play a great role in continuing to encourage competitive athletics.
All right, we're back. Let's finish up that starting lineup. Defense for Westlake, number two, Patrick Nelson, number seven, Brett Mays, number 10, Junior, Theo Procise. On attack for the Chaparrells, you have number four, senior Ethan Burke. Uh, Ethan committed to University of Texas to play football. Number eight, senior Andrew Ortega. And number 21, junior Bradley Mays. Okay, the players are lining up at the center of the field. Assisting Coach Burke, you have Jack Shipley, Keegan O'Connor, Nate Carter, and Rob Atwater. Vandegrift coached by Tim Troutner. This is uh, Coach Troutner's first year. Former Westlake assistant. Uh, took over for, from Lake uh, Luke Cometti. Uh, Vander, Vandergriff coming in at 2-7, two 2-1 and seven, two and one in district, and right now they are ranked number two in district uh, with Westlake being number one. In goal for Vandergriff, you got number 36, Junior and Jack Cunnell. At faceoff, a freshman, number 41, Batten Fruje. Hope I said that right. On defense, number 45, senior captain Will Province. Uh, Province will probably have the task of covering Ethan Burke. First faceoff, won by Westlake. Ortega with the ball behind, looking to set up. Westlake getting their players in. You got Frickin' Schmidt, you got Brissett and Trupo at midfield. Burke with the ball, looking to dodge, he shoots, he scores. Burke with the quick goal. I think Burke wants to make a statement today. Last couple of games, he's been a little bit uh, shut down by ESD and Lake Travis. Setting up for the second face-off. Horton with another win. Burke still up top, back to Burke. Shot a little bit high. Mays shot just wide. Bradley Mays with the shot. Burke takes the ball in. Looking to dodge again. Drops it off to frickin' Schmidt. Dodges. He shoots. He bounces it in. Takes it in for the score. Two quick goals for Westlake. I think Coach Burke wanted to make a big statement early on. Again, the last two games really haven't played their game against ESD. Lost 16 to 10. Really lost the face-off game, the ground ball game, and the goalie play. And, and you really can't beat a, a good team if you lose those three. Third face-off picked up by Horton. chance to talk to Coach Troutner this morning. His team is, is a little bit banged up, a little short-handed. Shot. Trupo with a goal Trupo from up top. With the goal. Number four, Burke on the assist. Vandegrift's two best players, Griffin Schaefer and Ryan Shepard, both out for the season. Big losses for the Vipers. I think Troutner wanted to come in and have a little ball control, 
long possessions and not let Wesley get off to a quick start. Looks like a push on Horton. I think Vandegrift really wants to settle it down. It's like a long possession. He wants to give this defense, his defense, a, a rest. Uh, Troutner coming in with only four defenders, long stick defenders. So these guys are going to need a rest. Good ball movement by the Vipers. Shot. Goal. For 22, Loudermilk with the score, and we have a flag down. Loudermilk with the goal up top. Also a penalty on Westlake. Nine thirty three left in the first quarter. Westlake three, Vipers one. Possession, Westlake. Vipers with the face off violation. Westlake ball. Horton going against the freshman at the face off circle. Should be able to come away with a good 70, 75 percent of the faceoffs. The set hit the pipe. Westlake getting really high percentage shots on goal. Like Burke was forcing it a little bit. Viper ball. Ball picked up by Burke. Shoots a little bit wide. So on the clear, the uh, clearing team has 20 seconds to get the ball over the midfield line. The ball is going to be out of bounds. Really good pressure by the attackman by Westlake. Caused that turnover. Curran looking to clear. Westlake looking to set up the offense. Ortega behind. Good ball movement. Frickin' Schmidt up top. Back to Burke. He feeds. Trooper with a shot. Looks like he was pushed. Crease violation on Westlake. Viper ball. Good clear by the Vipers. Vandegrift, they need to have these long possessions to give this defense a rest. Louder milk up top. Looking for the slide. Good slide, but picked up by the Vipers. Shot. A little bit wide. Backed up by Vandegrift.
looks like uh, Vandegrift in the crease. You only got 20 seconds to get that ball over the over the midfield line. A little bit forced. Picked up by Burke. He's going to shoot. A little bit wide. He backs it up. Mays with the shot. A little bit wide. Ortega brings it in. Take a look in the ISO. To Burke. Trupo. Got 15 seconds on the shot clock. Trupo up top. He's going to shoot. Scores! <laughs> Westlake extends the lead. 4-1. Going back to the face-off. Horton with another win. Again, Bain's not available for today's game. Got 50 seconds left on the shot clock. Burke with Burke to Ortega. Again, that shot clock. Got 80 seconds to get the ball from one end to the other. But you have to have a shot on goal, either hit the pipe, hit the goalie, or score. Horton with another win on faceoff. Coming down. Feeds over to Burke. <laughs> Westlake with great defense on that ride. Once there was a change of possession, that shot clock goes back to 80. Yeah, Pissette number 17 up top. Looking to dodge. Stitzer number three with the shot. A little bit high. Burke behind the goal. Burke with the shot, save. Under three minutes to go in the first quarter. Westlake five, Ben Griff one. Shot 
shot. Oh, saved by Kern. Nice, clear. Got Mays to Barksdale. He shoots and scores! Barksdale with the goal. Westlake extends their lead 6 to 1. 225 left in the first quarter. Horton with another win. Fast break to Burke. He shoots. Save! Kunkel with another big save. Ortega rolls it over to Frickin Schmidt. Burke on the side, back to Frickin Schmidt. It's like setting up a play. Really good ball movement. Trupo gets checked. Ground ball picked up by Vandy. Westlake like putting a lot of pressure on the defenders. Really good first quarter for Westlake. They wanted to come out really strong. A lot of milk shoots. Procise number 10 playing good defense. Right now their offense is louder milk. Number 22. Good team defense by Westlake. Ball picked up by Westlake. Ortega, he shoots and scores! Good heads up play by this Westlake team. Lindley number 19 getting in the action. Right now Horton with eight wins on faceoff, only one loss. Just he's dominating right now. Horton brings it down. Pass a little bit off the mark. Got about three seconds left in the first quarter. All right, end of the first quarter. Westlake seven, Vipers one. Let's take a break. Let's thank some of our sponsors, Ava. We'd like to give a special recognition and thank you to the following sponsors of Westlake Lacrosse. At the All-American level, the Ortega family, the Patissi family. At the All-State level, the Frank family, the Kern family, and the Austin Learning Center, the Wilkin family. At the NVP level, the Royce family, the Patissi family, the Melrose family, and Watkins Insurance Group. The Hamlin family, the Fournier family, and Emily's Table, 
the Barksdale family. At the goal level, we'd like to thank the Mills family and Lori Mills Real Estate, the Ingermeiser family, the Steiser family, the Tarleton family, the Trungel family, and the Baines family. At the assist level, we'd like to thank Jennifer Sloan, the Levain family, the Hagen family, Trey Phillips Real Estate Broker, the Horton family. At the main up level, we'd like to thank the Quay family, the Bray Fogel family, and the Robshaw family. At the me and our meal sponsors are Texas Honeyham, Mary's Gourmet Pizza, Hat Creek Burger Company, Cabo Bob's, and Fratelli's Pizza. Thank you so much, Ava. Right, we're getting ready for the second quarter. Big first quarter for Westlake in the offense. Again, talking to Coach Burke this morning, you know, he wanted to come out with a lot of fire. I think the, the kids were missing that the last couple of games. And we saw it here in the, here in the first quarter. You know, a quick shout out to some of these seniors who are committed. So we had a National Letter of Intent signing day a couple of days ago. So let's congratulate Carter Barksdale heading to the University of Michigan. Houston Horton, Robert Morris University. Hayden Kern, our goalie, Middlebury College. Andrew Ortega, oh, uh, Illinois Wesleyan University. Misha Tupo, Middlebury College. And Ethan Birkin, he's gonna, he's gonna play football at the University of Texas. Horton with a win. All right, we're starting the second quarter. Horton with another win. Really dominating these face-offs for Westlake. And he's going against a freshman. Schaefer, uh, Benegriff's number one face-off man out for the season. Got hurt during football season. It's so again, big loss for these Vipers. Great ball movement, shot. A set shot blocked by Kunkel. Good high percentage shot. Good goaltending. Vipers looking to clear. Able to clear. Viper's looking for a good possession. Procise with the ground ball. Oh, Wesley trying to force it. Oh, that Ortega with the back check. Little sloppy play. Ground ball picked up by the Vipers. Precise, playing tough defense. Milk again up top. Pass a little bit off the mark, picked up by Westlake. Good clear. Over to Mays. Frickin' Schmidt up top. Shot goal, Frickin' Schmidt. Unassisted. Westlake extends 
eight to one. Nine twenty one left in the second quarter. Horton with another faceoff win. Oh, checked out of a stick and picked up by the Vipers. Looks like we have a timeout. While we have a break, let's talk about the girls lacrosse for Westlake. Coach Keel. Have those girls at 11 and 1, first in the district. Next game is a district semifinal this coming Tuesday. And a super regional on April 24th in Dallas. So good luck to the lady chaps. Also a big shout out to KJ Adams. KJ was a Westlake lacrosse player last year. Last month, he was on the national championship Kansas Jayhawks as they won the national championship. So congratulations to the Westlake alum. Coming out of the timeout, 9-11 left in the second quarter, was like eight, Vipers one. Vipers looking to ISO up top. Loudermilk with another goal. And now he's the offense for the Vipers. Stevens to Loudermilk. Horton with another win. Another goal by Westlake. Eisner number 22 with the goal. Good to see that defensive midfielder scoring a goal for these West Lake Chaparrales. Horton with another win. Horton, another face-off win for West Lake. Just dominating. So important to face off. Another possession. Keeps this defense from for Vandergriff. Keep running. And at some point they're gonna they're gonna run out of steam. Again, Vandergrip only four defenders. They've been plagued with a lot of injuries. Save! Maze with the goal. Westlake extends 10 to 2. 8.07 left in the second quarter. Wharton lines up for another face off. Almost perfect today. Horton's a great story. Last year he was, he didn't really see the field. He was the second, second string face-off guy. 
over the summer. He worked really hard. He went to all the tournaments, all the face-off tournaments. His parents drove him everywhere, all over the country. And it, and it shows, and he's, he's one of the better ones here in Texas. But just hats off to him. You know, as a junior, he wasn't playing. And now as a senior, he's, he's starting. So there's, there's young kids out there, never give up. Keep working hard. Vandegrift looking to set up. In the offense for Vandegrift, Loudermilk with two goals. Good aggressive defense by Westlake. Who wants the ball? Looks like Barksdale. Oh, picked up again by... Oh! Good check by Westlake. Oh, picked up by the Vipers. Looks like change of possession. Shot clock. Vipers, they had 20 seconds to get the ball over the midfield line, and they did not do that. The clear is so important now. Have two, three, four really good passes. And a lot of these good teams can, can do that. Some of the weaker teams have, have trouble putting three or four passes together. So to get that ball over in 20 seconds can be difficult. Burke with the shot, a little bit wide. That rule changed from last year. Last year it was 30 seconds to get the ball over into the offensive box. So that 10 seconds is a lot of time. Tupo with the shot, a little bit wide, backed up by Burke. So it's really important that the attackmen are pressuring the defense to make them or execute uh, two, three good passes. Stitzer with, Stitzer with the goal, assist by Burke. Gordon Fate lining up for another face-off. Again, almost perfect tonight. Set up the play. Look like a skinny formation. Uh, warding off by Pased. I don't know if you can hear Coach Burke on the sideline. I can certainly hear him, and he's he's calling out plays. He has certain names for certain formations, and you know, there's one name for ISO just go to the cage. Other one, pick behind the goal. Another one to have someone on the crease. Another one to have no one on the crease. So he's he's calling out those plays from the sideline. Usually sending it out to um, Ethan to start the play. 
Knees with a good play. Over to Ortega with the goal. Another unsettled goal by Westlake. Really smart play by Mays, picking up the defender's stick, letting the ball roll past him, picked it up, ran to the goal. Ortega was right on the crease, and he finishes. Horton with another win. and just dominating today on faceoffs. I think Coach Troughton is going to put someone else in face off, maybe a long stick, give that freshman a rest. Like a moving pick on Westlake. Westlake with the moving screen. Ivers with the clear. Under three minutes left in the first half. Westlake 12. Vandegrift 2. Good defense. Nice defense by Wesley. Ball a little bit overthrown. Gonna go out of bounds. Viper ball. Good pressure by Westlake. Who wants that ball? Scooped up. Back to the goalie. They got five seconds to get the ball over. Violation. Again, the Vipers didn't get the ball over midfield line, 20 seconds. When that happens, change of possession. You can, you can hear Coach Berg yelling, pressure, pressure, pressure on the defense. Trupo with the shot, the goal. Trupo, another big game. Lecter in on face-off for Westlake. Westlake with possession off the face. Barksdale coming down. He shoots. He scores! Barksdale with the goal and a flag is down. Barksdale with his second goal of the night. Barksdale was nursing an injury last couple of games, but he looks strong today. Again, these Vipers are a little bit shorthanded, small squad, still fighting. Again, they're ranked number two in the district. Right now coming in two and one.
they were able to beat uh, Tripping Springs and Austin High. The one loss was to Lake Travis. Wharton back in with another win. Got 45 seconds left in the first half. Good ball movement. Skip pass. Shot a little bit wide. Eighteen seconds Bigger left. Shot, just Westlake with the goal. Didn't see who that was. Foley, on the goal. Foley with the goal. At 10 seconds left in the first half. Westlake 15, Vandegrift 2. Got two seconds left. Fifteen to two into the first half. We we'll take a little break, and we'll be back.
Okay, we're back. Got about a minute and a half left until the second half starts. Let's talk a little bit about playoffs. So for Westlake, they have Austin High coming up on Tuesday. That's their last district game, last regular season game. And then there's a four-team playoff next weekend. So Westlake number one, Vandegrift number two, Austin High number three, Dripping number four. So Westlake will play Dripping, Vandegrift will play Austin High, and then the winner plays championship, district championship on Saturday. So I think it's a Friday-Saturday tournament. And then for the regional, the way it's set up, there's an A and a double A. So an A bracket, you have the top eight teams in Texas. Right now, those top eight teams are, number one, you have Dallas Jesuit. Number two, St. Mark's. The Lions right now are 9-1. Uh, you have three of ESD that Westlake just lost to 16 to 10 last week. And then right now, number four is Westlake. Number five, Hi Highland Park. Six, you have the Woodlands. Seven, you have South Lake. And eight, for some unknown reason, it's Austin High. So if. Westlake beats Austin High by a lot on Tuesday. Austin High may drop to the double A bracket and probably Kincaid would jump up to eight. So the top four seeds, so Jesuit, ESD, St. Mark's, and right now Westlake would host games on the 30th. And Seedings five through eight will have to travel to the top four seats. So hopefully you follow that because it's it's very confusing. Now a big game, or or last uh, Thursday, this past Thursday, St. Mark's beat ESD. So St. Mark's pretty much has the number two seed. ESD is probably number three. So it's really four and five. Westlake and Highland Park can switch. St. Mark's plays Highland Park this Tuesday. And if St. Mark's can win, looks like Westlake will stay at number four. If Highland Park wins, they may jump to four and Westlake to five. So Westlake would have to go to Highland Park. So, all right, we just started the second half. Horton with another win. Horton about 93.5%. Face-off wins. Outstanding performance. Again, he's going against a freshman. But still, it's hard to win just about every face-off. So again, talking to Coach Burke, he wanted to come out with a lot of intensity, a lot of fire. And a lot of times how he comes out, the team will respond to his, his attitude, his energy. And again, he wanted to come out hot. And that's what Westlake did. So again, Vandegrift, they're shorthanded. Again, their top players out. But still, they're playing really well. Another goal! Bradley Mays, junior, football player. Got quite a few football players on the lacrosse team. You got Barksdale, you got Burke. You have the Mays brothers. I'm sure I'm missing a few. You know, Westlake football, three state championships in a row. So a lot of these players know how to win. Horton with another fit. Goal! Yes. Six in on the goal! 
that shows you how important the face-offs are. And if you can, if you can dominate, it, very high probability you'll win the game. If you can go 60%, 65%, very good chance you can win. Below 50, it, it's tough. Other things have to happen to come out on top. Horton tries the back scoop. Picked up by the Vipers. Mays on defense. Joel Quee in the game for Westlake. Oh, picked up. A little sloppy by Quee. Barksdale has a nose for the goal. Oh, getting a little greedy. Westlake just wants to control the ball. Good cut. Goal by Westlake. Number 16, Hamlin on the goal. Hamlin, number 16. Number 31, Dare on the assist. Hamlin, two older brothers. Stars for Westlake. Looks like Troutner put a long stick in just to change it up. Was like really dominating on faceoffs. You know, Westlake coming in, they were favored by eight goals. Anything less than eight would be considered a loss in the rankings. Not really sure how that works, but it is considered when the committee starts ranking the teams one through eight. So Westlake is looking to probably put some more goals on the board. Breakdown on defense for Westlake. Loudermilk, part of all three goals for the Vipers. Westlake on the face 
Luckner again with a win on faceoff. Again, you can see the direction of the game when one team is dominating on faceoffs. It's just so hard to come back from that. Looking to clear. And you've got 10 seconds to get it over. Good ride by Westlake. They got two seconds. Again, not. Again, Vandegrift having trouble with the clear. Against ESD, I think they lost eight. <laughs> Eight times they lost the the clear and ESD score scored goals on every single one. So it's so important that you can clear the ball. Westlake with the shot. Looks like a penalty on Vandegrift. It's like Will Province. He's been on Burke most of the day. I think he's getting a little frustrated. Westlake now a man up. Shot low bit wide. Back to Foley with the shot. Save. Oh, another flag down. Another goal by Westlake. Again, there's a little frustration on this defense for Vandegrift. Again, Vandergriff coming in with only four defenders. And the ball's been in the, their, their defensive zone 80% of the game. These guys are tired. That's exactly what Coach Troutner didn't want to happen. And you can just you see these kids. They're, they're exhausted. with another face-off win. Their men up. Oh, another flag. Two flags down. Again, it's getting a little physical. A lot of frustration. And as a player, if you're you're seeing that, you're you have to play to the ref. Right, he's calling everything now. You gotta be really careful. Foley up top. Another push from behind. Again, the frustration's coming out. See?
That's the end of the third quarter. Westlake 18, Vandegrift 3. Again, I just want to thank a lot of our sponsors. You know, a lot of the the money we get from the for the Westlake program is from donations. A lot of volunteers, the, the board of directors, they're all volunteers. So I want to shout out to all American level. You have the Otega family, Bassetti family, all state level. You got the Frank family, the Kern family, and Austin Learning Center, the Wilkin family. At the MVP level, you have the Royce family, the Passet family, the Mazzoli family, and Watkins Insurance Group, the Hamlin family, the Fournier, Fournier family, and Emily's Table, and the Barksdale family. At the goal level, you have the Mills family and Lori Mills Real Estate, the Ingram Eisner family, Stitzer family, the Tarleton family, and the Tungle family and the Baines family. Again, thank you so much to all these families and all these sponsors. All right, we're ready to start the fourth quarter. Again, it's been all Westlake. All Westlake, all face-offs going to Westlake. Really a dominating performance. This is exactly what this Westlake team needed. Again, the last couple of outings, they didn't play their best. And if they're going to move along in the playoffs, they really have to play their best. That's face-off, that's goaltending, that's defense. And right now the offense is clicking. But you gotta have all facets of the game. When you start playing these top tier teams, Highland Park, ESD, Dallas Jesuit, St. Mark's. Looks like on the man up. And Westlake's not shy to put 20 on the board. That's a, sometimes that's a number for a lot of coaches. It's number 19. 16, Hamlin with the goal. Hamlin with the second goal. The assist, number 31, Dave. Lecter facing off again for Westlake. Both teams now full strength. Thinking these refs aren't going to let this game get a hand. Getting a little physical. Vandergrift looking to clear the ball. Again, Vandergrift couldn't execute the clear. Looks like a push. Push on Vandergrift. That's a foul for being tired. Okay, under 10 minutes left to go in the game.
was like 19. Then grip three. Shot. Ooh. A little bit wide. Looking for that corner. Stitzer. Foley to Foley. Number three. Stitzer on the assist. Westlake extends to 20 to 3. Setting up for another face-off. Again, Westlake just dominated. Complete domination on face-offs. Both teams changing out personnel. from up top. Foley with your next goal. Hamlin to Foley. Beautiful night here in Austin. Westlake takes possession off the face. Oh, good check. Side of the net. Shot just wide on the side. Got six and a half left to go. 21 to 3. Westlake. Again, Vandergriff could not clear. Right, with the That's an unsettled situation for Westlake. Looking to settle it down. Oh! Good check. Westlake with winning every phase of the game. From goaltending to defense to offense to face-offs to ground balls. Riding and clearing. I think Coach Burke's going to be happy. About how the boys played. Stitcher her up top. Flips it over. Shot a little bit wide. Shot, shot of the net.
Got four minutes left in the game. Shot goal for Vandegrift. A long night for these defenders for Vandergrift. <laughs> Looks like a penalty on delayed penalty on Vandergrift. Picked up by Westlake. Got two and a half left. Got 20 seconds left on the shot clock for Westlake. Oh, beautiful pass. A little bit high. Hamlin looking for the corner. A little bit high. That doesn't reset the shot clock. Again, the ball has to hit the goalie, hit the pipe, or go in. Well, it looks like it was reset, so it must have hit, hit the goalie. I think Wes looks just going to pass it around. Shot clock is off. Got 55 seconds left. It's like just running out the clock. Goalie comes out of the cage. We've got five seconds left. And there it is. That is it for us today. Final score, Westlake 21, Vandegrift 4. Westlake moves to 9-3 and 3-0 and 3 and in district. Vandegrift falls to 2-8 and 8 and 2-2 two and 2 in district. Next up for Westlake, final game of the regular se season versus Austin High. Game on Tuesday at 8 o'clock at Austin High. Producing today for Vipe Media. Adam Mueller. Thank you, Adam. Doing a great job announcing with me. 
Westlake sophomore Ava Howard. Thank you, Ava. Our next broadcast will be on Saturday, April 30th. Time to be determined. That's if Westlake is the fourth, third, or fourth seed. Until next time, this has been Westlake Lacrosse. Thanks for watching and have a great evening.